So, I have recorded here a few Call of Duty games, a few Call of Duty games pretty much. I've played with a mate and we are, we're jumping into Call of Duty Rebirth 2's on Fortune Escape. We've played a little for 3 hours or so, got a few victories, pretty much free, and this gameplay right here is a back-to-back -back victory as I die immediately and almost get away with it. Almost, that is. Wasn't that snaky? And die again because this zone here was a mess, pretty much. Yeah, cut two gameplays. Around 30 minutes I tried to jump out here and kill him from behind but I completely failed. Two gameplays, 30 minutes, I cut them down to one game, well, one video more so. Two games, one video, god I'm struggling already. Two games, one video, two back to back victories and a third little victory cut into the end here. I killed this dude. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, can't finish my sentences today. And those are the gameplays. The first one is the one where I did better and carried a little bit with a clutch moment. And the second one is the one uh, where the mate carried some more mate down here. Yeah, this map, it's kind of cool, I like it. I feel like Rebirth, the game mode in itself, is a pretty good game mode and I prefer it over the actual Call of Duty game mode of the big Warzone map, which I never got a victory on. We tried a few times, it's mostly the big one, the big map is literally 10 minutes of running around and then getting killed from far away or from behind. So not that fun, I like my more so close to mid ranged encounters in this game way more than the well big warzone map but i feel like fortuna's keep is not my favorite i feel like i like the rebirth on the caldera map the rebirth circus on the caldera map way more there are some good ones on there that's pretty much where i started my channel playing rebirth maps on the caldera map which was uh, fields for example arsenal is also a good one the, um, the big one in little cut down in little rebirth zones which were pretty fun because it's not with too many high buildings and you don't have so many high ground fights which is often killing it for me that i need to well like in this town here run through three floors and be careful that I don't run out on the streets because people have the high ground advantage too many times and the combat shotgun is pretty much useless. I have here a little encounter where he ran away where he probably could have killed me easily because I didn't have more ammo in this clip and then he did pretty much disappeared I don't know where he ran to. I cut a lot of action, a lot of, a lot of action, a lot of phases out where nothing really happens and uh, yeah, cut it mostly down to fights, hit marker fights where people run away and I actually get kills from. He went down, the mate landed next to him, I feel like I, uh, he downed himself and uh, I threw an airstrike onto him just in case, but seemingly whenever I throw an airstrike, nothing really happens. Yeah, and then we pretty much circle around to that church where the most fights happen then. Nice shooting, I know. Perfect aim for me. Ah, I hit him once. Look at that. So good at this game, I know. Yeah, I'm not the best code player. I'm pretty decent. Never got a nuke though, never got a nuke in my place of playing Vanguard. Vanguard. I got all the shotguns in gold, that's my big accomplishment. Since I'm also of a shotgun player, which you can see in Outriders for example. Love playing with shotguns. 
he escaped. This mate, this mate, my mate killed someone in mid air there. And then a lot of action is coming up right here, right about now. In a second, after I reload and get some shields in. Yeah, yeah. This zone right here, there were like three teams here, or people just respawning. I feel like he killed himself with his own airstrike. So I went to revive him in here. Oh, short moment to breathe. And then we are gonna charge into the church and get us some action. Right here. Well, I got jump scared immediately already. And here's the big fight. I see two more coming. One, my mate. He runs in there and dies immediately. He was the possum. I kill one. Or down one. And his mate is gonna charge at me. I'm trying to dodge down here. He's charging at me some more. Got lost and uh, I killed the team with that pretty much which wasn't really lucky not gonna lie that we killed all of them then one minute of looting and um three minutes of circling around to the left side that's my voice is already dying some more and pretty much we know a team was on top here yeah my voice is dying cool cool nice we knew a team was upped up here, they apparently ran down, which we caught them down here with the pants down. And the mate killed him pretty much. God damn it, I need a breather. Still ain't got the voice to talk through 15 minutes of gameplay, that's why I cut. The 30 minutes down to the half time. Yeah, and he pretty much ended the game here. And we got the first victory royale of this session here. And we're right at my favorite landing spot, the winery. It's a little bit more open fields, especially down there when you run towards the camp. So it's a nice starting point, starting point where you don't get killed that much from behind because it's more linear and uh, more open. It's a better starting point in my opinion than anything else here. There's the grotto too, but the high ground advantage in the grotto when you land down below is just too scary. I got me a golden MP40, which is gonna come in handy. As I don't hit a shot with the other gun. Try to chase him down to no avail. He kinda escaped, probably down in the wine bunker below or on top of the wines. Didn't haunt the wanker anymore. So we are gonna move on and the storm or the zone, the circle is coming close. It's a long way to run and there are some more enemies here. I down one, escape as I don't have any more ammo or health and the mate kills them all well one of them the one who's down on this fell, fell the field there were two people coming from the right and one coming to the left so it's a bit of a mess actually two people coming from the left he tried to revive me which I didn't make it very far but it saved him some time which he made it out alive which is a miracle in its own right as you see the guy running by fighting with someone else as one of them dies here and the mate just lies in grass hides till I come back in which I come back in in a second I land here on top of this building where is it? this little house here to give him some high ground advantage and very much our tactic is one place possum and the other one then kills them. So that's why we die a lot because one draws the attention while the other one goes in and kills them like he does here. I get revived on the backside. 
come back in here with an LMG with some air strikes who do nothing. The air strikes, of course, like always, they kind of seem pretty really useless. Somebody on top here, like always. But the air strike doesn't get him. And neither does the second one I'm uh, about to rain down on him. Two air strikes in that direction, and no one of them did any damage. Why well, I get killed immediately again? Cool, very cool. Yeah, this zone right here is dangerous as hell. So we land, I land, he survived, and we circle all the way to the left around. He marked the spot, we get shot from behind. Zigzag away towards the point here. Another airstrike comes in, which does nothing. Well, I pretty much just ran through it. I don't know if you saw the guy <laughs> jump from the building downwards. And this is the part of the game where we pretty much just get ourselves to some buildings and hide there. He died. It was an assist on my part. I don't know if my mate killed him or someone else. Killed? No. Did I kill him? Revenge elimination, yes, my kill was my kill. He killed someone in here with literally one life left. And it's a house party, a short one, but we pretty much were like three minutes in this house. Down one who was chasing us. We loot up, get ourselves some good loot. I keep that gun, push forwards to the left slowly to get. To go with the circle pretty much was the tactic here. We just went with the circle and pretty much, yeah, I ate a lot of damage on the way to the final zone. Because I tried looking for people like here, luckily survived. Because I feel like right about now is the rebirth mark where you can't come in, or it was right beforehand. Then the next house we sit in for one minute. This is pretty much rebirth for Call of Duty anyways. We just wait a lot, but Fortnite and Apex wasn't that different. Those are pretty much the three big Battle Royale games I played. I played a little bit of Fallout 76, which was pretty much one or two hours of trying it. Which didn't end that well. It was, yeah, it was okay. I don't think I played anything else, Battle Royale was, oh, Call of Duty Mobile, Call of Duty Black Ops, Black Ops, Blackout, Blackout it was called, I liked Blackout, Blackout was cool because it wasn't that, with too many high ground advantages, it was pretty, everything on the same level, pretty open, far range fights or building fights, but I liked Blackout a lot, wish they would have done more with Blackout, I got a gas mask, my controller it blocks. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna buy a new cable. Since yesterday my mouse also died. I'm playing with a controller most games. Played the sack with mouse and keyboard. And playing killing floor with mouse and keyboard. But pretty much this is then push. I like the controller more for movement. And a lot of people say Call of Duty is easier mid with controller. I'm still mixing some trim and roots in there a little bit from time to time. I killed the one on the right side, he killed the one on the left side, and that's pretty much our two victories. And the third one where I messed up the resolution. Of course I did. I always do. I always like to mess up my resolution like in here. That's the third one, the first victory we got. The other two were back to back, this one wasn't. But yeah, we camped the winery, the building on top. I messed up me resolution. And I killed the last two people, which was pretty much my only two kills, I believe. But yeah, I left the uh, game audio in the back, which might be on actually on time. I might have missed or messed up my audio i don't know we'll see we'll see if i can get it right otherwise that was it
Peace out. Peace out.